as you're warming up your voice, it's like any exercise that you do. You don't go bonsai the second you get up and you want to go for a jog or work out your body at the gym or something. You don't go ah, 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 immediately. You're just, you know, I'm going to lift everything. No. You gradually warm, you stretch a little bit, you get your arms out there, you, know, you do your little stretching, you do whatever you, and you gradually warm up. You don't reach your maximum potential in, until you're probably 30 minutes into your workout, maybe 40 minutes into your workout. So be okay with that. Don't feel like that all of a sudden because you didn't hit your peak at five minutes in and there's something wrong, doggone it, I just know it. No, use some common sense. As you're working out, enjoy the workout and, and work your way up to these things. Even if you have to take a one minute break, a two minute break, a three minute break, drink a little water, your voice starts crackling, you're frustrated, you don't know why, drink some water, do some things that, that uh, you know, I use uh, eucalyptus and a little bit of, um, uh, by the way, uh, um, digestible grade eucalyptus or tea tree oil in a, 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 like a coffee cup or something, I pour hot water in it, I just kind of waft the fumes towards me and, and depending if I have post nasal drip or some congestion or something or I have a lot of mucus on the cord, I'll do that. I'll take a really hot shower before I work out because the moisture in the lung and the moisture in the throat and, and good uh, moisture for resiliency for the cords is great. There's lots of things we can do like this and all this is covered. It's all in, in the stuff I've given you. But as we warm up, be okay that it takes a minute to warm up and then you don't really know what your transition notes. Well, Ken said, if I'm at this, I always transition at this. Use your own gauge. Be your own person. Gauge yourself and see what works best for you and where you feel most comfortable transitioning. Because do you remember me saying that I'll never ask you to do anything that is unnatural, but I'll only ask you things to do that fit feel more natural? Well, I want to encourage you that you'll do things that feel more natural and easier to sing rather than some weird thing that makes you feel uncomfortable. So I wanted to say that about the workouts too because I've seen a lot of people, well, do I work out? Do I sing really heavy at first? No, actually, that's why I said from the beginning, I have sort of a mean average of singing kind of gently through it. If you want to be a rock star and you feel like you can, you can actually start out with just the burble, the lip roll, the tongue exercise, and then go straight into harder workouts with the ah vowel right away and start you know, waking up the chest voice. Don't wake it up too quickly, be careful with it, and little by little then you can wake it up more and more and more. You can stretch chest all the way up to you know, an A5 for, for a tenor. You can literally stretch chest voice at high. Ladies, you can stretch, stretch your, your chest voice all the way up to an octave of that if you're gnarly. So use some common sense as you're going through this. It's not, don't, don't feel like I have to spoon feed you every little thing about yourself because I can't be there for you. That's why I'm doing these videos to show you this stuff. So anyway, let's continue.